it is connected in a very vital way to the Prophet Muhammad So for example, my university education is, is not Mustanid. There's a very uh, important differentiation here. So if we go back um, um, to back to the Sufi uh, Salsalis, what I would like to share with you today is one particular uh, Salsala that I um, have studied and have contact with Shuyukhin, the Naqshbandiya. And this is named after Bahuddin Naqshband, who was, uh, died in the 8th century uh, Hejri and who's buried near uh, Bukhara in present-day Uzbekistan. And the Naqshbandiya from Central Asia, one of the first places that um, this uh, baraka and transmission of the Prophet through Bahadin Naqshband went, was to India. And in the 11th century, uh, through again a process of, of transmission, um, there um, a, a, a very important Sheikh Ahmed Sirhindi, uh, Il Mujadid, who has been mentioned and will probably be mentioned more than a few times uh, in this conference, um, began a new chapter in the Naqshbandiya. Uh, he, in, in many ways, um, he did many things, um, one of which was making very explicit something that had been implicit or relatively implicit before, which was the fact that if someone is going to be following the the Naqshbandiya path, the first thing this person has to do is be very aware that the Naqshbandiya path is the path of the Prophet. And, and so this, I would like to share some of his um, illumination or explication um, because he developed this, as you will see, um, in, a, in, in a very sophisticated fashion. He discussed how one, uh, how a Muslim should model his or her behavior after that of the Prophet And he sometimes mentioned what he would call the inner and the outer sunnah. So it's very important uh, to be expressing this sunnah outwardly in one's actions, in, one, in one's dress, but also to have the inner transformation also um, occurring. Now, it's very easy to outwardly, as you all know, it's very easy to outwardly see um, someone who models their behavior um, in the path of the prophet. It's much more difficult to, uh, for someone to feel or experience this inner sunnah, this realization. And I would like to discuss some of his, what he, what he laid out as seven degrees of imitating the prophet. Before I do that, I would like to quote something um, that he has mentioned in his collected letters, the Maktubat al-Sharif. No Muslim can become a protege of God. A protege of God is someone who is near, uh, near God, relatively speaking, unless he follows the prophetic example. And this is because of the preference of the Prophet Muhammad himself, Sallallahu Alaihi who has reached a spiritual level that no other prophet has reached. And let me, in brief form, uh, share with you uh, these uh, seven degrees of imitating uh, or uh, following the, the exemplary example of the Prophet. The first one is Ahmed, and this is from Ahmed Sirhindi's uh, collected letters, is that of what he calls uh, common Muslims. And he defines this group as uh, ordinary ulama who lead pious lives. This would 
uh, fall in that category, who recognized the legitimacy of the Sharia, but who have not controlled their nafs, or I translate as ego. Um, and this, in addition to the, uh, the ordinary ulama and common Muslims, this imitation is sufficient for a believer to uh, enter heaven. The second degree are, are those people uh, who I would, he, he doesn't say this, but who I would call Sufi aspirants, people who, are, who have been initiated by a, a, a sheikh who's connected uh, to us in a salsella, who are actively participating um, in a daily practice to try to conquer um, or control their, their nafs, their, their ego. There's a third degree, which uh, he doesn't uh, discuss very much. Uh, he says, those who experience the attraction of God. Uh, in, in Sufi uh, terminology, these people sometimes are called majdubs. Uh, I don't know how many of you uh, have run into majdubs, but some, sometimes they visibly, uh, you can see they're visibly attracted uh, to God uh, by some of the things they do just uh, out of their control. Uh, the fourth uh, degree would be uh, people who Ahmed, uh, the Mujadid, he's called the Mujadid, Ahmed Syrian is called the Mujadid because he was the renewer of the uh, second millennium, um, are those who are truly imitating uh, the Prophet وسلم, and whose uh, ego, whose nafs is at peace. And he calls this the station of the well-grounded ulama who are manifesting the perfections of prophethood. The fifth degree um, is those who have received additional divine favor, uh, who manifest uh, the, the, um, the perfections of the, the resolute prophets. The sixth uh, are those who are favored by God's love and who participate uh, in being the beloved uh, of Allah. Now these six degrees are all in the, in the spiritual path of, of the Nakshpandeya, the, the Saluk, are all considered to be a sense to God. And the last degree, which is, um, which is something that uh, I, presume, I assume very few people achieve, is to come back to humankind, to the Muslim community, um, and, and communicate this mystical ascent to teach this to other people, which is exactly what the Prophet Muhammad did after his miraj. So this is a, um, these are the seven degrees as um, the Mujadid rahmatullah lay, uh, laid out. Now, as you can probably see, if a person is following this path in the 